first video on how I limit my waist living on board a well, that was a mouthful. How I limit our waist living aboard a sailing boat cruising through Indonesia. In this first video, I'll be going over tips for zero waste living. Um, so I hope that it in gives you some ideas and inspires you. The first one I'm gonna say, for the coffee lovers out there, a keep cup. So I generally have coffee on the boat before I go to shore, but if you are a mad coffee addict, please take your keep cup with you. Another one, a reusable drink bottle. We do not know how many drink bottles we have seen floating the floating about the ocean and washed up on remote islands. It's really, really sad. So please do not buy um, one use drink bottles. Get a reusable one. A container. So if, if I'm going into town and I'm getting takeaway, I will take my own container with me. Also, um, I have lot, lots of different containers on board, so if I've cooked up a big meal and I want to put something in the freezer or fridge or I've chopped something and I need to, instead of using glad wrap, I just use containers now. So many straws in the ocean. So when you're in Indonesia, they generally give you two straws, not one. It's a really bad problem over here. So take your own straw, get bamboo or stainless steel ones. They're both really, really good. Bamboo cutlery. So this is a spoon and a fork. Really hand, handy to have. In Indonesia, most locals eat with their hands. I still haven't mastered that. So I take my own spoon and fork. A big one as well, plastic bags. Be surprised how many we've seen in the ocean. So a reusable bag. Reusable bags are very important. Make sure that you have a lot of them because as sailors, we usually, when we're going in a passage, we bulk buy. So you need a lot of reusable bags to carry all of your food in. When we're going on land for over half a day, we take our backpack. These have a camel pack in it, which holds three liters of water. We'll take, sometimes I take, I'll make food on board and I'll take it with me. Some cutlery, definitely straws, and some reusable bags. So I'll take that all with me. Another one is jars. Having jars, I know that um, you need to limit your, your weight on a sailing boat, so you can get plastic jars like these, which are a lot lighter. Um, I do prefer glass myself. This is an old um, peanut butter jar, so I've kept it, washed it. This morning I made a batch of coconut milk, so I've just reused the jars now. These are my milk jars, and I put these in the fridge really handy so reuse your jars a great thing is bulk buying before you leave your country and head sailing you can go online and bulk buy or you can there's lots of stores these days that you can bulk buy and take your own jars in or take your own reusable bags so all of my beans beans and lentils I bulk buy another before. one it's really handy to have is these reusable spray bottles for um, cleaning um, I make my own cleaning products. I would be doing other videos later on with the recipes for my cleaning products, but they're really, really handy to have. Bamboo toothbrush. We've actually on the, washed up on the beaches. We've seen hundreds and hundreds of plastic toothbrushes, and they take many, many years to break down. Many years. Now we have soap bars. Please use soap bars. Don't buy soap in plastic bottles. These are so much nicer. These are all, you can get all natural soap bars. They last a lot longer. They're a lot smaller, so you can um, store them. You can also get um, shampoo soap bars, which I haven't had. I prefer um, a herbal shampoo. This brand is Songs of India. You can buy this stuff from Little Hippie Store or um, online. It's an awesome shampoo. I don't use conditioner, I literally just use this so it's a powder. I use half a scoop, add water to it, soap it up, apply it to your hair and it's just like a um, conditioner or a shampoo. Essential oils, I couldn't live life without these. So these are, my favourite brand is doTERRA. These are 100% pure oils, so certain ones you can use in your cooking. Also for making skincare and for making cleaning products. When I'm making my skin, I have these little glass bottles, um, just easy for me to make and it lasts a long time. I don't have to keep making it over and over again. Or another thing, you can use your glass jars if you want to make up a big batch. So yeah, good thing to have. 
little glass spray bottle. You can get these online on eBay. They're quite cheap. For the women out there, a uh, great thing to have are these menstrual cups. So look them up. They're absolutely amazing. A menstrual cup. I won't go into detail because, yeah, it's quite personal. But, and yeah, obviously um, a, a great thing to have is books. So um, my recommendations, if you're into your essential oils and you do invest into them, um, having a, a book with lots of different remedies because you can use essential oils for um, even if you get a cold or you get cut there's lots of different um, remedies especially in this book it's modern essentials it has thousands of recipes for your essential oils um, Hippie in the City I love this book it also has lots of different uh, recipes on raw dessert cleaning products beauty care uh, tooth, making your own natural toothpaste, it's a great book to invest in. Washing your dishes, I've got these cotton cloths, I think they cost me like a dollar in Indonesia, um, and I can wash them and reuse. So yeah, um, that's it from me guys, thank you so much for watching, I, I hope this video has given you some tips on zero waste living, and spend 2019 limiting your waste and saying no to single use plastic. That's what 2019 is all about for um, Ollie and I. We're excited to be sharing it with you guys on how we are doing it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to, you can subscribe to our channel. These videos I'll be doing separate from our sailing vlog, but I'll be uploading them on our same Sailing on Paradise channel. Thanks guys.